all right hey everybody um welcome back to my channel or if you're uh viewing this for the first first time checking out my uh, youtube page then uh, welcome um, basically uh, i make videos on my 2019 infinity q50s signature edition 3.0 t rear wheel drive and uh, do just just different videos i have about 130 videos if you're interested in checking out some different uh, content on the car but here today i'm excited um, it's uh, a simple thing it's these new floor mats i got and the logo on them is 3d i saw them on facebook um, just uh, they popped up you know so facebook advertising works but i saw these and i was really really intrigued by them so um, i looked at them a little bit more and i saw a lot of cool things that i liked um, basically that uh, they have a, a real neat texture underneath so they won't slide around um, they have a upper surface that is pretty cool kind of looks uh, carbon fiber ish uh, and it's form fit and then also too it has a special kind of padding and they say that it will help deaden a little bit of that noise on the floorboard um, and it's custom fit, um, laser designed, um, custom fit, and then it has a little bit side protection. So it just looks like a really, really cool uh, set of floor mats. I just got the front ones for now, um, since that's basically where all my wear and more of my companion, you know, uh, me or uh, passenger sits. And I don't really have a lot of people in the back. So, um, and they're they're pretty reasonably priced. I, I think I paid between sixty and seventy dollars. Um, and you know comparable and they had tons and tons of really good reviews a lot of people excited and happy with their product and so uh, I read that and you know comparing uh, people comparing them to WeatherTechs and some other very popular more expensive brands and so they they really really uh, honestly you know apparently a lot of people like these so I was like man I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot um, my factory mats I have the, the factory black mats the claw uh, Kind of the fabric cloth not cloth but uh, furry or what am i trying to say carpet there you go carpet type mats and they just um my dog hair from my dog is is that uh, lab fur and it just gets stuck in there and it's a, just a it's a pain to vacuum out and they just collect dust and dirt and you really got to take your shop back and you know rub on that to get that stuff up so they're just not ideal for me and plus i too i'll just save them and maybe you know if i ever sell the car they'll look more fresh so anyways to just get to the get to the uh title the subject here of my video i'm gonna uh they just i just got these today and i'm gonna open them up and for the first time and i'm gonna look at them just like you see them and uh and see how i like them so they got shipped in a really nice box i mean it's a solid box that didn't get torn up um you know nice uh sealed up nicely um, yeah and they came actually pretty quickly so uh pretty cool pretty stoked about that so i'm gonna just pull these out and uh and then look at them from here people kind of commented that they don't like the logo you know with that being shiny it's not necessarily a big deal to me I think that those will come off um, and you can just probably remove that by removing these these uh, you know way it's secured there but I don't really care I mean if you really wanted to you could uh, you know black those out um, you know all kinds of different you know paint and, and removal paint that you can put on there and remove that but they mount in the car in in the factory locations those are pretty cool um, it's kind of a rubberish plastic. It's more rubberish than plastic, but uh, man, I'm really uh, pretty pleasantly surprised. Um, should hold up well. A little bit more texture, a little bit more resistance as far as like a rubber finish, uh, but not too rubbery. And then what they say on the back. Hopefully you can see all this. This is instead of those little little fine. Um, you know that on the back of your floor mats which are pointed and you know thousands of them uh, and that helps bite into the carpet then when you lift it up you, your carpet looks like it's, it's you know it, you know what i'm talking about so yeah so um pretty cool mats that looks like the driver's side and the 
the passenger side. Cut that off. Still flexible enough, but uh, hold their form. A little bit of that side protection. pieces need to stay on there and probably come off and use those for something else. I tend to save stuff like that. Little little velvety piece or something that can go somewhere, but yeah. So next I'm going to just uh, put them in the car, change the factory ones out, put these in there, and then take some video and see what you think. Um, they're, they're, they're black, but they kind of have a gray appearance to them, just depending on how you look. I mean, obviously it says 3D on here. So these have like a little bit of a 3D appearance. So when at different angles they may look black or they may be may look gray. So the interior of my car is is black um, or a very 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 dark charcoal. And so I think these are going to work out really really well. So yeah, we'll go to the next part and uh, shoot some video or uh, some big still pictures inside the interior and give you uh, a look of how they appear in the car. All right, it turned out to be a really nice day today, so it's really, really bright outside um, and dark inside the car. But uh, let me see if we can just make this work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop these up. These are the factory mats. As you can see, you know, the uh, carpet-type texture. And uh, in the back, the little pins, you know, that keep it positioned. Uh, and you take that out. Okay, so we're going to grab the mat come over here and put it into the car put that little thing down right there Okay, so pretty cool. I don't know if I have those snapped in fully, but uh, hopefully I can get a picture of the texture. Um, like I said, it's kind of rubbery, um, you know, with a slight plastic feel, but uh, and I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm not going to be able to really show you because of the difference in the light of the exterior and the interior, the color contrast, but uh, it's a little bit lighter than my black on my interior. So it'll kind of lighten up the, the foot wells there, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. Take a look at the passenger side here and then install that in just a second. All right, here we go. It actually turned out to be a really nice day, so really kind of cool. About in the 60s, be a good time to run the car. But uh, okay, so we're just gonna take out the factory mat. This one looks almost brand new because I don't have as many people riding in the passenger side. Let's set that down on the ground. Pick up the 3D looking one, 3D, however they call it. Put some force on these and see. All right. If I can let you see that there, it's got this little protective thing on there, and that would go underneath. I'm gonna cut those off, but. Uh, yeah, and the seat's pretty far back, so. A little bit of padding to it.
Okay, so for my initial thoughts, uh, man, I'm liking the mats. I mean, um, they weren't super expensive. Uh, I think they're going to work really, really good. Um, I like them. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to get a better look and better light. And it's just always hard to tell in uh, bright light in a, kind of a contrasting situation. Uh, you know, but they're going to replace my factory mats and I'll just stick these away. So I think everything looks good. I'm happy with the purchase. They came really, really quickly. Um, much quicker than I thought, which they, they told me it might take two weeks, but actually it was only about four, four or five days. And the price is very, very reasonable. And I'm going to pronounce the name. It's, uh, you know, Max Pider, M-A-X-P-I-D-E-R. And then the 3D is their logo. Uh, and so um, I'll include the information if you want to look at these mats but uh and, and purchase for yourself I, I didn't i didn't get any sponsorship i didn't i never pretty much ever get any sponsorship and get things free so i purchased these um and i think they'll just be pretty cool addition to my q50 i'm not a big fan um you know of those real decorative mats uh floor mats you know that look like uh you know high dollar leather uh suitcases you know and louis vuitton and eh, i mean no, I can't. I can't do that. Um, I mean, they're cool for some, and and they, and they kind of look cool in in some degree. But I'm just that's not me. Uh, just like I'm not a low rider Q50 with my wheels, uh, you know, cambered out and riding on the inside of the tires. Uh, it's just uh -uh, not me. Um, so there you go. Um, good mats. I give you. I give them a thumbs up and. Uh, Hopefully, maybe you'll like them too and you can go purchase them. So thanks for viewing my video. Um, check in often to see uh, more content as I post it. Uh, always have fun with my Q50 uh, 3.0T. Love my car. Um, awesome, awesome car. Uh, a lot of naysayers out there and people that don't even have the car or they, they bought one used and they tore it up and or was torn up when they got it awesome cars and i don't care what the the car you know reviewers and the magazines say freaking awesome car love the interior love the ride love the performance so if you're on the fence and looking to get a q50 you know i guess a newer 16 17 18 19 20 uh, i'd stick maybe to the 18 and above then uh get your get yourself one and you won't be disappointed um and there's really good deals on these cars so other than that thanks for viewing have a great day and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. So I appreciate it. Thank you, bye-bye.